Alrighty, so today we're going to do something that I don't think anybody's in the MLB community has tried to do. We're going to go 0-162, so we're going to have a like a winless season. And we're going to try to go perfect, 162-0. Is it possible? I don't know. We're going to try it anyway. So, that's the whole premise of the rebuild. First season, go absolutely terrible, lose every single game. And then from there on out, the point of the rebuild is try to have a perfect season. If you guys want to see more rebuilds like this, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know what you guys thought about today's video. As well as, let me know what you want to see for future videos. In the description down below are all my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, all that good stuff. Snapchat and all that stuff. Twitter is the, probably the best way to get in contact with me. If you have any questions about MLB or anything else, that's the place to be. Also, if you guys need tickets to anything, baseball games, basketball games, any sporting events, concerts, go to SeatGeek and at checkout, use the code ANTORTIS for $20 off. That's about it, guys. Let's get into this rebuild. You guys can see we kind of have a really bad Orioles team. We're rocking with a 30th ranked squad. So I may I may have altered the lineup a little bit. So we're, I'm going to show you the settings. We're going to get into this rebuild. Alrighty, for settings, nothing has changed. We're rocking with the same stuff. We're rocking with the riding roster as well. We're going to go manual for everything. The only thing that I did was I altered the Orioles lineup to kind of have a really bad team. So what you're going to see is... 72 is our highest rated player. We have a lot of low rated players. I basically searched through the entire free agency at free agency pool and put a lot of low rated players onto the team. Basically, every starting MLB roster, like Emmy, every starting MLB player was taken off the roster and sent either to a different team or put in free agency. And you guys can see we're kind of looking bad. So let me get the lineup the way it's supposed to be. I'll catch you guys in a sec. Alrighty, so uh, yeah, meet the team. The uh, pretty bad Baltimore Orioles. Pedro Araujo, Roberto Gomez, Holmberg, Hanafi, Keegan Aiken, Alex Wells, Eric Johnson, Kelvin Marte, Tim Barry, Corey Black, Cody Carroll, and Michael Bauman. So I think the only one who's got B potential is Araujo. Everybody else is pretty bad. So, I mean, even if we wanted to trade anybody, we really couldn't trade anybody just to find, a, like, a good trade piece. There actually are a couple players that have B potential. Most of these guys were art. Well, I wouldn't say most of these guys were already in the farm system for the Orioles. But um, some of these guys were. Some of these guys are free agents. And um, that's the pitching rotation. If we take a look at the lineup, we got Cesar Tours Jr., Logan Schaefer, uh, we got Chris Davis. We had to keep crushed or not crushed Davis. Chris Davis, right? DJ Stewart, Jerry Sands, Tyler Smith, Daryl Cecilia. You, you know, you, that's his name. Jose Godoy and then Jonathan Diaz on the bench. We got Robert Newstrom, uh, Okoye Dixon, Jonathan Singleton, and then Casey Hobson. So the team's pretty bad. I mean, it is bad bad obviously we do have a couple like uh farm prospects from that like the normal um orioles system a couple players on the waivers because we didn't really want them anymore uh we got rutchman and I, I mean i did keep some players like mount castle and stuff so that we at least had a little bit to work with but nothing too crazy um so yeah at least we got something to work with um not too much otherwise it would have been like just absolute mayhem and it would have been tough so this is what we have this is the Orioles squad we're gonna try to go oh in 162 it might take a season or two or it might take me like 45,000 hours to simulate until we hit that mark so I'm gonna do the draft off camera I'm gonna get everything sorted off camera and I'll see you guys at the end of season one two thousand years later all right what seems like seven years later we finally went oh in 162 Woo! It took some time. And there we go. You guys can see it. We uh we were pretty bad. Um we'll go take a look. Um I'll show you guys. I guess I should have showed you guys the draft picks. Um there were a couple okay ones, nothing too crazy. Um none that would really be MLB ready by the time we start next season. So, um I'll show you guys in the roster history of the draft picks next year. But um you guys can see team was pretty lackluster besides like dj stewart and chris davis no one really did too much um yeah 16 at bats he wasn't bad but overall pretty pretty bad um so yeah 
<laughs> I'll, I'll show you guys what we're working with, but you gotta not really expect much at all. So there's that. There's the squad. I mean, when we look at what we have, Alex Cobb could potentially step in next year. Adley Rutschman probably going to wait till season three. DJ Stewart will be a piece we can work with. Yusniel Diaz could potentially work in our favor. We got a couple other players who could hop into the lineup maybe next season. We'll have to wait and see. I was just more impressed with the fact that I was finally able to get Owen 162. That took way too long. So we're simming to the offseason. Oh, apparently we won an award. A gold glove. A couple gold gloves, actually. Oh, baby. I am surprised about that. I'm surprised we even won anything. So let's keep going. Let's get this going. The Dodgers defeat the Red Sox. And uh, yeah, let's just keep moving forward. And uh, Chris Davis retired. No. All right. So offseason time. We got Joe Madden as our new head coach manager, dude. <laughs> Man, that was bad. Um, arbitration, we don't have to worry about. 40 man, we definitely have to worry about getting some of those guys back. Contract wise, we're definitely going to bring everybody back. We need as many players as possible. Free agency, I definitely want to bring in players. It just all depends on if it's for the right amount of money. I don't want to just go out and blow all of our money right away because then we don't really have much to work with going forward. We don't have room to mess around with. Um, Trey Mancini was in free agency and I'm definitely going to want to bring him in. He won't require too much. And for like a, a two year deal, he doesn't want a lot of money. So we're definitely going to try to go there. Um, and we're just going to, we're going to definitely try to find some cheap options that work really well for a sim style franchise. Jonathan scopes, a player I would 100% be interested in. Oh yeah. That's, that's an option. Maybe Rendon. I think Rendon's a glitch. He has to be a player we look at possibly bringing in. We obviously need upgrades in every single spot. So we'll have to work around what we can find and try to get the best players possible. So I'll see you guys at the start of season two. Alrighty, so we're going to start this rebuild off in season two. And we made some moves. Definitely made some moves. Acquired some really good arms. Really good hitters. I feel like we could actually be a playoff team. We are in definite need of a catcher and a new first baseman. And his starting pitcher, but overall, it's actually not too bad. I was looking through free agency to see if we could find any players that have any trade value at all. And Tony Kemp is a player that I definitely want. He's got a potential. He's gonna have some trade value. He won't at the beginning of the like beginning of the year because we can't trade him, but it gives us an extra player that we could trade because that was kind of my main goal during free agency was finding players that we could trade to get more players because I feel like if we could get someone that has really good potential, really good trade value, and then trade them for like two players who may not be as good, but within a season or two could be as good as the guy we're trading away, I think that's actually going to work in our favor. So let me show you the lineup. Let me show you the pitching rotation right now. All right. So I guess I got to show you first off the draft picks from last year. So we have Randy Fong. He looks okay. Um... <laughs> Chauncey Blocker, what a name. Good speed, good fielding, just the hitting's not there. Uh, we got Nick Phillips, who's got a potential. Horrible fielder, though. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep him at center field. I might move him to second base. I think that might be the move. And then um, Andres Ruiz, another decent little pickup. And then I, uh, we, had a, we had a few. J Jack Casto and then Zach Soriano. Soriano's got a potential. Uh, I think he's going to be a huge uh, addition to this, like for trade pieces. So when we look at free agency and everything, we just brought in Tony Kemp. We got Ross Stripling and Lucas Sims. Lucas Sims, I've definitely picked up because of his potential. 100% going to be a trade piece. Like I said, guys, this is going to be a huge fantasy style rebuild there's going to be a lot of moves there's going to be a lot of acquisitions and trades because we got to find a way to get really good players into the squad we brought in jonathan scope on a three-year deal um he, he's probably a player we're going to keep he looks too good to uh get rid of christian villanueva has got some trade value we'll see how he does uh kevin quackenbush Quackenbush is a, a bullpen arm. Avisel Garcia from free agency. Bumgarner from free agency. Alcantara's got trade value. Definitely going to use him to be a, a trade piece. Richard Blyer. We'll, we might keep him. He's a good lefty to have in the uh, bullpen. Gregorius Mancini. Uh, 
Will Harris, aging pitcher, but still really good. Blaine Bichette, I might just use him as a long reliever this season or Ross Stripling. I don't know yet which one I'm going to work with, but he's actually got decent stats just to start with. Um, and then the rest were already players that we had. So you guys can see we were pretty busy in the offseason. Richie Martin came up from free agency or from the AAA farm system, whatever you want to call it. He's with us now. He's not amazing, though. So um, he's kind of an issue. First base, kind of a weak spot. And so is catcher. Outside of that, the team actually looks pretty good. We brought in Avisel Garcia to play right field. We got Jonathan Scope, Didi Gregorius, Christian Villanueva, DJ Stewart's going to play center for us. Um, we also do have Austin Hayes, who could potentially... I actually kind of want to start him over DJ Stewart, just based on the fact that he has a little bit better hitting stats. We could trade DJ Stewart and then maybe just get someone in return. I feel like that might be the right, right move. Plus, Austin Hayes, same potential, pretty similar overall. I think it might be the move going forward. Um, but you guys can see we got a decent squad. Trey Mancini's here as well. So I feel like we, we're not too far off being like a playoff team. Maybe this year is a little bit of a, an exaggeration or kind of being hopeful. But overall, I think the team's looking pretty solid. So as you guys can see, bullpen's kind of bad. So we definitely want to make some trades to get better bullpen. And we are missing a starting pitcher. Um, we have some really good prospects we could trade and then get people in return. So with that being said... Let's trade some let's trade some people. This is there's gonna be a lot of trades to make this team really good. So I hope you guys are excited. Alrighty, Cesar Stewart Jr., Blaine Knight, and Alex Cobb for Mike Miner. Basically, what I'm looking for is a pitcher that we can use for just this year. Alright, a lot of you guys always tell me to trade for Freddie Peralta. We're gonna give him a shot here. So him uh is gonna be traded for Chris Lee and Lucas Sims. Like I said, he's gonna be a trade piece for us, and that's how we're gonna make it happen. Alrighty, just well, Valentine. Raul Alcantara and Josh Rogers are going to be traded for John Gray. Stats look pretty decent. Should only get better. Plus, he's on arbitration. So, that's going to be really nice because we're not going to have to pay him a lot of money. So, I think we got the starting rotation set for this year. Um, now, let's figure out this bullpen because it's looking a little bad. Kind of bad. All right. We're going to go trade for Colin McHugh. It's another long reliever, but I think we'll be okay. We're going to trade Jack Reinheimer and Joely Rodriguez. Anderson Feliz, Kelvin Marte, and then um, Angel Vielma are going to be traded for Wander Suero. I'm trying to switch it up and go for players that I normally don't trade for. So we're going to see how it goes. I feel like we're actually doing pretty solid as well with the players that we've like acquired. Um, I'm going to send down Pedro Araujo, and then our, our bullpen looks really good. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I do want to try to find at least a first baseman or a catcher, and then I think we'll be set for the season. We'll give this a shot. Alrighty, Cedric Mullins as well as John Kemmer are going to be traded for Andrew Vaughn of the White Sox. I've seen this guy develop into an absolute beast. I've never used him before. Let's see how he does. All right, this is how we're going to look for the season. Richie Martin isn't going to hit there. We're going to we're gonna move him out of that spot. And we're going to look like something like this. Um, maybe move Richie Martin a little bit lower in the lineup. Maybe move Andrew Vaughn up. But this is how we're looking for the year. I kind of like it. I think we're actually in a really good spot um com compare like comparing ourselves to last year i feel like this team is actually pretty good um i feel like the pitching is really going to carry us i feel like that's our strongest suit um obviously the lineup does have some some areas to improve on but when you see some of the like prospects that we could trade to get better players i think we're in a really good spot and i didn't want to change i didn't want to go like full blown like all right this is the best team we can get right away because i feel like we have some players that we haven't used before and it'd be kind of cool just to see how they develop or how they play and um just try them out in a sim style franchise this is a, a good way to do it so last year we didn't win a single game let's see how we do in season two and if we have to make any trades or make any uh adjustments at the trade deadline day i'll show you guys what we do all right so at the deadline you guys can kind of see in the corner how the team's doing and it's not going great, so we definitely need to make some changes. I'll start by showing you guys our draft picks. We have a 70 overall second baseman, 22 years old with A potential. Hitting-wise, he doesn't look amazing, so he might be more of a trade piece. Hubert Cannon's a catcher with 58 overall and B potential. 75 potential for Michael Frederick, 68 overall already though, so he could be a decent bench bat for the future. Um, 
Bernard Bingham, another first baseman, he looks okay. And then Ray Castellano has decent potential as well. So those are the guys that we picked. Um, those are the guys that we drafted. Looking at the lineup though, overall pretty disappointed with the offense of the team. You guys can see it's, it's just not great. Jonathan Scope's basically our best player, and that's good to see. We paid him big money for it. Dina Gregorius is a player I'm going to probably look to trade. That's kind of the, the big um, info there. So overall, starting rotation's pretty bad. Uh, John Gray definitely needs to be traded. McHugh's doing decent. Castro's eh. Stripling, eh. Quackenbush. I mean, it's overall, it's just going pretty bad besides Richard Blyer. Ronder Suero. Actually, Ronder is doing pretty good as well. And then Will Harris as a closer. Ooh, he's lights out. I love to see that. So we got a good little closing setup, like squad going. Everybody else is pretty poor. Um, no one in our farm system is ready for the, the call up. What about triple A? Really, it would only be Adley Rutschman. I still don't even think he's ready for that. So Tony Kemp, do we start you? No. All right. We're, we definitely need to make some moves. So let's do it. All righty. James Nelson, Luis Ortiz, and John Gray for Sean Manea. I'm going to give him a shot. We haven't used him in quite some time. Alrighty, Hunter Harvey, Kevin Quackenbush, and Ross Stripling are making way for Archie Bradley. What I'm thinking is we just move Wander Suero to the middle relief spot, and then Archie Bradley can be our setup man. Andres Ruiz, Caden Grenier, and Tony Kemp are going to make way for Dansby Swanson, which means Didi Gregorius is getting traded. Lamar, Smart, Lamar Sparks, Mason Engler, Englert, Mason Englert, what a name, and D. Gregorius are going to be traded for Nick Williams. We're going to give him a shot. He's on a low contract as well. Um, I've seen him develop into a beast, so might as well try him. So after the lineup changes, uh, I think we have a pretty solid squad. Um, we'll, we'll give, we'll kind of leave it. We'll just, we'll just slot in Dansby Swanson. The thing with uh, Nick Williams was he's got trade value, so we might as well just get him and then just kind of move um, players as needed. We have Austin Haynes, Nick Williams. I might actually start Nick Williams now that I'm thinking about it because Nick Williams has A potential, and I'd rather get that going rather than letting a B potential player start over him. So, again, I think we strengthened the team. The pitching rotation should be pretty solid as well. Overall, it's not bad. We just need players to perform a little bit better. We should open up some budget space as well. Mike Miner, Will Harris, um, and a couple other players are leaving. So... We should be pretty good moving forward. I like what we have. Let's see how the rest of the season plays out. So the season didn't go as planned, unfortunately, because I think we have a lot better team than what we finished off the season with. 67 and 95. Let's go take a look and see how, like, what happened. Um, we got an award, a gold glove, and Will Harris was the delivery man of the year. We were last in the division, 34 games out. In the wild card, we were 22 games out. So let's take a look. Abisal Garcia wasn't amazing. Might be a player we look to trade. I think Dansby Swanson's going to be a great player for us. I definitely am happy we got him. Same with Jonathan Scope. I think we got a, a good middle infield there. Trey Mancini, I think, is only going to get better. So I think that was a good addition for us. I'm hoping Andrew Vaughn develops because having him on the squad would, like, having a young little core. We got Swanson. Man Mancini's not that young, but, like, Swanson, Vaughn. Nick Williams is kind of young. Richie Martin, maybe, if he can learn how to hit a baseball. I think we got a, an okay core starting to form. Adley Rutschman should be coming up soon. So we might even Ryan Mountcastle could be a player for the future, too. So we have we have some good young players. We just need them to develop. Um, looking at our pitching staff, Freddie Peralta had a rough second half. That sucks. Um, Menez, okay, all right, not too bad. Colin McHugh wasn't too bad either. Someone got sent down. Blaine Bichette. Understandable. Understandable. We have some good pitching arms. Um, so we could be good for the future. And then Blyer did well. Suaro did well. Bradley and Will Harris was lights out. I probably won't bring him back because he's going to be 36 next year. But overall, pretty happy with the squad. We have really good arms in the, in the farm system. And we do have some pieces that we could trade. I'm actually thinking we, we need to make a few trades and we need to cut a couple players because we have a lot of players like in this range with like the 100,000, 500,000 contracts. So let's keep moving forward. It's only season two. I have a feeling that we're gonna, we're really gonna start to get good really quickly. So uh, a couple players retired. Oh, well, not gonna lose sleep over it. 
looking at exclusive negotiations i would love to bring one of these guys back mike Miner just didn't do too well and will harris i would love to i just don't know if he's gonna stay that high rated how much does he want to if we can get him for like six i think it, I'd, I'd be okay with offering him six we need like a brand new staff holy cow Bumgarner accepted his option which is cool like that's i figured he would and then um arbitration wise yeah everybody's gonna get arbitration contract wise most people are gonna get arbitration the lower rated guys i'm probably gonna skip out on and then when we look at some of the free agents we definitely need a pitcher is trevor bauer someone we want probably not um so we might go for a low rated one there are definitely some arms here that i'm interested in for sure um i might did we did we sign will harris we did he might be a player i trade and then we just bring in someone here because there's some really good options catcher we got rutchman so i don't really want to interfere, interfere with that first base we got vaughn i want to let him develop um and if he doesn't develop we can trade him he's got really good trade value second base we got scope uh third base third base we could use an upgrade dj lemayhew could be a good option for like a season or two shortstop we're good we have swansby now left field mancini center field could use a little bit of an upgrade but there really isn't anybody in right field obviously mookie bets would be nice but i think we're fine with avisail garcia and we could always trade him if necessary so those are kind of my ideas for the free agency and like how the offseason is going to play out i'll see you guys in a sec all righty season three now this is how we're looking we brought in dj lemayhew and that was it for like the the offensive part of the squad we do have pedro castro who could potentially be called up maybe next season maybe get traded as well mount castles a potential call up adley rutchman i'm gonna wait one more season before we call him up overall the lineup's looking nice i think it's really good i mean i think it's the best we've ever had we also brought in wellington castillo this is where we're kind of struggling though um colin McHugh is his contract runs out this year it was a small contract it's at three we uh have taylor williams this guy here i just got him because of his a potential i'm gonna try to trade him for a better reliever we got will harris being our setup guy with archie bradley being the closer i don't really want zach soriano starting and i really wish he would have stayed in triple a so what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to just find another starter maybe just go to free agency this season and just kind of hope one of these guys can be good enough jordan lyles might actually be that guy that's good enough just for this year um let's see maybe even erasmo ramirez um i'm gonna go jordan lyles let's do like a, a two-year deal he wants like five is that good enough that's good enough all right so that means soriano can get sent down to the minors and then our starting five looks a little bit stronger than what it was blaine bichette is kind of on the the iffy side if i want to keep him or not we're gonna send soriano down and we're gonna make that trade for that bullpen arm all righty aaron cairo bart moody what a name and jimmy hergert are gonna be traded for seth lugo i know not a name i would normally go to but look at his last i mean look at last year and the year before that last two seasons unreal so let's give him a shot see what happens so that's really going to be the only acquisition to start season three outside of our like free agent signings i like the team obviously it's not the strongest this bullpen area definitely could still be improved starting rotation could be improved as well but small 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 changes we we still have like these crazy prospects that could come up at any time that really could strengthen this squad so let's just see what happens I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what happens and uh, i'll catch you guys at the deadline day all right at the deadline we're gonna trade ronaldo lopez for freddy peralta peralta's just he's just not doing it um era is too high that's that's the big issue with him otherwise i think we're gonna leave it like that um team's actually doing kind of good uh for once uh and we have some we have some prospects who definitely could feature within the next couple season i'm actually gonna trade richie martin and i'm gonna try to find a new how's trey mancini doing not great um we might trade trey mancini as well and then try to get like a really good left fielder that we don't have to worry about the future for all righty christian villanueva trey mancini and richie martin are going to be traded for austin riley of the braves he's also got arbitration for the next few years so we're looking good for that and then we brought in justin turner to kind of fill that dh spot that uh villanueva had and then obviously pitching wise 
we have Reynaldo Lopez who hops in here. So there we go. There's the team. Let's see how the rest of the season plays out. Alrighty, so we finally made the postseason as a wild card team. We went 90 and 72. So we're inching our way closer. We have a, a league leader. Um, I have a cell Garcia and Jonathan scope there and then Archie Bradley for saves Let's take a look at the awards that we won Hank Aaron gold gloves and then delivery man of the year So let's take a look at the standings We were nine games out in the east and then obviously in the wild card We had a five game lead so so far so good looking at our bench is probably our weakest area um, Definitely want to improve on that. We do have a couple of players that I'm really interested in getting involved He might be traded just because I don't know about the hitting stats Adley Rutschman is going to be starting for us next year. Mountcastle, probably another year before he gets involved. Nick Phillips is still a good while away. Unfortunately, we do have Usnail Garcia as, or Diaz, Usnail Diaz as well. Dansby Swanson. I need this type of year, not this. I mean, 36 doubles is nice, but um, DJ LeMahieu wasn't terrible either. I mean, pretty comparable to what he did last year. Just the average was down a little bit. He's got one more year in his deal. Austin Riley, I need... That, those that average to go up a little bit but the home runs rbis and doubles i like to see jonathan scope becomes a free agent this year oh no he's got one more year perfect um he had a killer year this year unreal andrew vaughn starting to heat up which is good to see uh nick williams is starting to do the same so that's good dj stewart was meh you know um evisel garcia i think actually has one more year as well um that's a good year i like to see that and wellington castillo was okay so i think our offense could be a little bit better looking at our pitching as a whole it was pretty solid um for the starting rotation the bullpen pretty good as well so i feel like the offense definitely needs to pick up um some of the slack and the the starting rotation the bullpen wasn't terrible so what we're gonna do here is we'll just really quickly quick manage this i'm gonna shove myself into the corner like i do so you guys can see what's going on throughout the game Fenway boom 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 bum Garner's on the mound I'm pretty sure bum Garner becomes a free agent after this year so we gotta maybe entice him to stick around or maybe we just get a new new ace for the squad because he is aging I would like to get someone a little bit younger who's gonna develop bases loaded no outs and he gets out of it with three strikeouts there we go Ivacel Garcia gives us the lead we just need to there we go Dansby Swanson gets us on the board a little bit you know gets us a little bit more comfortable lead Jose ooh, back to back home runs that's not good we get out of it though um we'll get one more out of them will we yes we will perfect a walk fielder's choice fly out ground out all right he's done eighth inning we're gonna go to Harris Harris does what he needs to do and then come on come on come on we're gonna go to the closer Archie Bradley and Archie Bradley shuts the door perfect um, we're taking on the Yankees hmm so we'll just go like like this and then like that all right let's uh let's get into the series against the Yankees Ooh, we're facing elimination already that's not good um I mean realistically it's a it's small steps if we win this game I'd be very surprised the Yankees are a really strong team I mean look at that team Jose Ramirez Marcus Semien Glaber Torres Judge Stanton Gary Sanchez Voigt Estrada and Hicks all right okay oh double play man that sucks solo home run Jonathan Scope there we go Ooh, yeah 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 there we go two run lead I like to see that all right, first and second, no, or one out, I should say. And we don't we don't score there, which is unfortunate. Bases are loaded with two outs. Ah, we couldn't score. That would have been huge to take advantage of that. Garcia adds two more with a two-run bomb. And then Bumgarner goes six, so that's probably enough. Austin Riley makes it a seven-run game. Oh, that was perfect. And we're just going to take him out. We're going to go to... See if McHugh can give us just a couple innings, maybe one or two. That'd be huge. Save the bullpen a little bit. Austin Riley, another home run. This is the game we needed. If McHugh can shut the door, I'd be happy there. 10 0 victory. Boom. Can we do a little reverse sweep to get us going? We're home again. Uh, yeah, we'll let Jordan Lyles take the mound. We'll see how it goes. Not the best start. Definitely not the best start. 
but DJ LeMahieu ties it up against his former team, and we're just flying through these. Definitely want to get some more runs. Jose Ramirez, man, come on. Don't want that. Two run score, and it might be, it might be it. Ooh, Dansby Swanson brings us back. Okay. Bases loaded for DJ Stewart. Two runs. Oh, we're within one. Come on. A grand slam. We take the lead. No way. We're going to go to Suero. All right. If Suero can give us like two innings here, that'd be huge. A double, maybe even three solo shot okay he got us through to the six that's that was big um we're gonna take the sack fly here there we go bases loaded Ugh, couldn't take advantage of that we're gonna go to mm, we'll go seth lugo Ooh, okay little little sketchy but we get out of it couldn't get out of that though all right dj le mayhew makes it a four run game that was huge Oh no 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 no. Let's go to let's go to Harris. One run scores. All right, this is a, a save situation now. Oh man, this is this is getting serious now. 2-2. Two, two. Come on. Ronaldo Lopez is going to take the mound for us here. I feel good about this. Come on, come on, come on. Two run bomb. All right. Come on, come on. Let's let's add to the lead. Not you guys. Oh man, he got out of that bases loaded jam. So we still got a one run lead. Two run lead now. Okay. If he can give us five, I'll be happy with that. He did. Can we get six out of it? Sack fly makes it a one run game. Adovino comes in. First and second. One out. Come on, DJ LeMahieu. Austin Riley. Come on. <sighs> Nothing. All right. McHugh. McHugh's been clutch for us. Scope gives us a two-run lead. Two out. All right. Eighth inning. Let's go to Harris. Boom. Perfect. Can we get one more? We can't. So we're just going to go to Archie Bradley. And hopefully he shuts the door for us. Two-run score. No, not like this. Not like this. Um, He's not. It's just not his day today. Richard Blyer takes the right uh the righty on man um let's go suero double play that was huge ground out ground out ground out suero give me one more there we go come on let's get a run guys vaughn in the clutch and then just to be safe we're gonna go to lugo <sighs> really double ground out man can we escape? I don't know if we're going to. We're running out of pitchers. A double. Okay. Dansby Swanson gives us a two-run lead. Okay. Come on, Taylor Williams. I need you to shut the door here. He does, and we're taking on the Indians. I know this isn't the, the best of runs for us, but um, in terms of like the, the record. But what we're going to do here is we're going to go like that. Actually, he should be healthy by then, like full stamina by then. I know, and I said by runs, I didn't mean like we're on a run, we're going to win the World Series or anything like that. I meant like we didn't get the, the record 162 and 0, but we could potentially make the World Series. So that'd be kind of cool to see uh, during this, this rebuild, especially if we don't come close to 162 and 0. So come on, Mad Bum. I need one more good outing from you. Bases loaded, two outs. Oh. That we needed to score there. One run scores. Come on. Two run lead. I think that's game, boys. Seven runs. Yeah, eliminated from the playoffs. Nine to four, unfortunately. Just didn't work. Contract expired, but they want us back. They want us back, which is good to see. Um... It's a glitch. I hate that that happens in franchise. So we're still with the Orioles. Let's see how things turn out for us. Throw ourselves back up in the corner. Exclusive negotiations. Archie Bradley definitely needs to come back. Um, bring it down a little bit. Madison Bumgarner. 
He's been really good for us. Maybe a one-year deal. Um, just in case. Will Harris needs to go. And then I think... How was McHugh this year? McHugh was like really good. We got to at least one more year. We'll do that. And then let's just move forward. Abasil Garcia ex okay, extends his contract. Jordan Lyles does as well. Scope, though, doesn't. And that sucks because I really could. we really could have used him. So arbitration-wise, probably not Blyer. Probably not these guys either. But the rest will get it. And then contracts-wise, everybody's going to get it. Looking at free agency, big free agency. So we're going to make some moves. All right, heading into season four. I'm pretty sure this is season four. Um, I was looking to strengthen the bullpen. We're going to go for Reyes Maranta of the Giants for Nick Williams. Um, his contract is almost up. He's heading into arbitration, so his contract's going to go up a little bit. He's not putting up the numbers I would have hoped. Um, so, yeah. And you're probably thinking, well, what are you going to do now for center field? Well, there's this guy called Lorenzo Cain who's sitting there in free agency, and we're going we're gonna to give him an offer. So, he's our new center fielder. With that being said, this is what our team looks like now. Um, it looks kind of good. Uh, we added Corey Seager, no big deal, on a pretty big deal. Um, but I figured if we're going to lose Jonathan Scope, we might as well bring in someone that has a really good, like who's a really good replacement. And I feel like that's that's kind of the right move, right? Uh, we're going to swap these two and we're going to let Lorenzo Kane. We also brought in, uh, we're going to let Lorenzo Kane lead off. I should finish my sentence. We brought in Michael Franco and on an okay deal. We'll see how he does for one year. Um, he hasn't really played much, so we'll see how he does. Vaughn, Garcia, Rutschman's our new um, starting catcher. Castro and Mount Castle still kind of warming the bench there um, in the free in uh, the minor leagues. So what I was saying is I feel like this is kind of like a season where we really need to push for something. Um, are we going to? I don't know. I hope so because... Like, with how much money we have invested into players, like, we need to do something. Um, as you guys can see, we're a little bit over budget. Um, some some players, obviously, will start to become free agents, so we'll have money. But um, with the team we have, like, I mean, look at this squad. Miguel Castro is a little bit of like a, hey, we probably should do a little bit better here. Um, and I probably will trade him um, just because, I mean, we kind of do need bent or bullpen arms anyways. So I'm going to see if I can trade Miguel Castro, see if we can find a new bullpen arm. Outside of that, I'm really liking the team. I mean, look at this team. Taiwan Walker's a new addition. I, if we don't make the playoffs and push like 100 plus wins, we got some trouble. We, we really got some trouble. Kenley Jansen's a new addition. No big deal. So I feel like we really should be pushing here. Esteban Lopez, Zach Lowther, and then Miguel Castro for Victor Arano. He's been really good the last couple seasons. I need him to be really good for us. So with that change, I mean, he's just going to pop right into the line or the, the bullpen and we should be good. I mean, looking at this team, Kenley closing games, Maranta, Claudio, Arano, Suero, Lugo, McHugh. You look at that starting rotation. You look at the lineup now. There's no reason why we shouldn't be pushing for 100 plus wins. Let's see how it goes. All right. We're, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. I think next year might be that last push we went 110 and 52 we're taking on the winner of the wild card we'll take a look see how things went um pretty good pitching wise okay some pitching stats awards rookie of the year for rutchman and then a bunch of gold gloves so let's take a look at the team as a whole taiwan walker man colin McHugh started hold on where did my other starter go jordan lyles what happened he wasn't pitching bad he only pitched six games what happened do we not have enough pitchers Okay, I can see why that may have caused some issues, um, but for the most part, things went pretty solid. Oh my God, this offense is nuts. And then we, we, we have replacements for next year for some of these players, but holy cow, this offense is insane. Um, wow, okay. Um, I scrolled through it pretty quickly because I wanna get to this next season, but I mean, Guys, this, the, the team is nuts. Um, let's see how we do in the postseason. All right, we move on. Um, let's get, is that? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. Let's see how this goes. Boom, okay. 
we lose right there in the ALCS. Okay. We got one more season to push for that 162 and 0 record. I mean, we won 110 games. We sh I feel like we we're not too far off of doing it. Let's see how we can handle like exclusive negotiations. This one this one's going to be rough. This one's going to be tough because there are players I want to bring back. I think Michael Franco. Uh, maybe he starts and then we let Mountcastle be that backup for us. We'll do that. Um, DJ LeMayhew, I would love to bring back, but he's 34. Actually, you know what? Withdraw that. We'll let Mountcastle be the guy. Oh, wow. He wants crazy money. We got to pay pitchers too, though. That's the problem. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is going to be tough. I feel like that's the only offer we can do right now. And then just kind of weigh it out and see what we're going to do. Arbitration-wise, Seth Lugo got sent down too. Why? Oh, wow. Okay. Um. All right, arbitration, arbitration and contracts, we're just going to have to figure out as they go. And then uh, free agency, I'll show you at the start of next season. All right, so I don't know what happened, but we lost quite a few players to free agency. Um, so we lost Grayson Rodriguez, who was our A potential pitcher on top of Soriano and a couple others. We lost a couple others. We lost Yusnail Diaz. Um, we obviously added these guys from free agency, but, and a couple other players, but we're, we lost quite a bit. I don't know if it was rule five or what, when I went to go add players to the 40 man, it didn't say we needed to add anybody. So I was a little confused on why we lost those players, but we're going to have to make do with the fact that we ended up losing them. Um, I don't know if it was a glitch or what happened, but basically we lost out on some players. You can see we added some Almora Jr., Kyle Lewis, Dylan Car Carlson, who most likely will be a trade piece at the deadline. Uh, we lost, oh, my Mount Castle as well. We lost him. Um, I don't know. I just don't know what happened. But when you look at the squad, it is scary good. I mean, we are squeezing tight with the budget as well. Looking at the pitching rotation, it looks really nice. You guys can see I literally had to sign the bottom of the barrel for free agents to make sure we could stay within the budget. If we don't win a bajillion games this season, I'm going to be so upset. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how the season plays out. All right, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is the third time I've simmed this season. The first time I got, I think it was 92 wins. The second time, I only got 70 wins. Like, that's how random this, like, the Sim style franchise is. It is so RNG, anything can happen. So, the third time, I was like, you know what? Whatever happens, happens. I was just, I just couldn't believe that I went from 92 to 70. And then this time, I mean, luckily, I got 105, but unless you have like a crazy super team and you turn budgets off i don't think 162 wins is possible franchise is just too rng so 110 wins i'm gonna take it i feel like that was our best and that was last season i feel like that's probably the best we're gonna do like i said it was 90 like what 92 90 wins i think it was then it went to 70 that was the crazy thing for me and then obviously we uh we obviously just won 105 so i mean i i didn't want to sim it anymore i at that point i was just flabbergasted by the fact that you know what we we barely won the games that we did um it's it's whatever it's a, a sim style franchise i wanted to be honest with you guys that i did try it more than once for this last season you guys can see the stats i mean some players did well some players didn't do well obviously we, we i mean could we have had a better team oh yeah most definitely i think we could have gone with other players um probably a little bit younger players probably would have helped us in the long run but overall i think we have a pretty solid team this kyle lewis pickup was huge um rutchman's turning into a beast you got vaughn turning into an absolute stud 
Almora is still really good at the age of 28. We have him locked up for a long-term contract. You guys can see that. Austin Riley was okay. Probably the biggest letdown. Probably could have used that $7 million somewhere else. Uh, Corey Seager's a beast no matter what. You always you If you can get him, get him in your franchise. It looks like Dansby Swanson's kind of a beast too. Um, last season was really good. DJ LeMayhew's always really good. And then you guys can see our bench there. Um, losing a few players kind of sucked because then we couldn't really, you know, trade for a little bit better players unless we really cleared the farm system. But overall, it, it's it's okay um, with how things went. I'm a little disappointed. We're taking on the Devil Rays and season's over. What a surprise. That's how it's going to end, guys. I mean, I was, I'm just, I don't want to say like, I'm disappointed and like I went into this not think like I knew I wasn't gonna hit that mark so it, it's whatever um, I was just really like blown away by how different when I said I was simming oh, I told you guys that the three sims for the same season how different they were 92 to 70 and then 105 with a team that's ranked second in the majors i think we should be doing a little bit better like we have the best contact we have the best second best pitching um power defense yeah that's not the best speed is not the best but it's a sim style franchise you guys you guys want people who get on base and you guys want good pitchers and we have two of the best for that stats and we couldn't even um turn out to be like a consistently good team for three seasons that i simmed so i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys understand why i did the last season three times i told you guys about it i just wanted to see how it would turn out um and just kind of point out the fact that the rng in this game is so crazy but i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of a rebuild today's zero at 162 to 162 and 0. obviously i failed but it happens i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and i'll catch you all in the next video peace